Well, hello there, friends. Compound chicken. <laughs> when the last time you seen a French chef doing a compound chicken? It's delicious. I made it fantastic. Friends, I can't wait to share the recipe with you. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. Compound chicken coming right now. Okay, friends, I'm gonna show you the French version of a compound chicken. <laughs> yeah. It's not really a French version. I use a lot of the traditional ingredient, but I add a few new things. But you're gonna have fun, I promise you. First thing we're gonna do, friends, is we're gonna marinate this chicken. Uh, for a um, half hour is good if you have the time. If you don't have the time, you mix it up and you got it. We're gonna put a, um, a little bit of oyster sauce. Uh, I'm taking a measuring a measuring spoon so you get an idea about, you know, this is 12 ounces of chicken, it's a serving for two. And uh, so it's easier for me to just do a couple of serving. We're gonna put a, a tablespoon of uh, a soy sauce, then we're gonna put a little bit of uh, uh, Ching, <laughs> Shao Ching uh, wine, uh, Chinese wine. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Put a, um, <laughs> put a, any kind of wine you wanna put in there. It's a little uh, sweet rice wine, or you could put mirin. Mirin is also perfect for this, okay? I'm probably not saying it correctly, but. Um, and, and we're gonna put a little bit of uh, black vinegar. Not easy to find unless you go to an oriental market. So you know what you do? Put some balsamic vinegar in there if you don't have it. And it'll be just fine, my friends. All right? You gotta, you gotta substitute. You know, we're not, uh, we're not working in a Chinese restaurant where we have to be traditional. We're cooking for home. So we want to do things. And then we're going to massage this thing. And then we're going to let it uh, do its thing for a, a good uh, half hour. If you have the time, do it. At least 15 minutes, OK? Mix it up really good. Don't be afraid to massage it. The, the chicken has been cut very small cubes, about uh, half of an inch at the maximum. And, uh, and we're going to let it marinate it. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you how I cook it. Okay, friends? We're going to do this thing. So I'll be back in a few minutes when it's all ready to go. All right, friends. Half hour, at least up to two hours. The chicken is fine. My pan, I have some, uh, uh, put a vegetable oil, put an avocado oil, a grapeseed oil, high smoke point oil and uh, whichever oil you want. I'm gonna saute the chicken first, and I'm gonna remove it, and then I'm gonna do the vegetables. So then they have time to cook properly, and we have time to give the chicken a little color, okay? So, hot pan. If you don't have a wok, do a fry pan. I have this, um, this uh, uh, non-stick wok that I've been using as well. I love it. Uh, use whatever you want, my friend. This, I, I have had this one for, I don't know, 15 years, it's wonderful. I take good care of it, and uh, it's perfect for electric stove. For those of you that electric stove, it's got a flat bottom. Plus, in the bottom of it, you probably won't be able to see it because if I flip it, but there's a hot plate underneath, so it makes it really, really easy. So I'm gonna get that going. I I want to put put little. You you don't want to put a lot of chicken in there, friends. At the same time, otherwise you'll end up stewing it, and we don't like to stew it, right? We want to so we want to give it some color some Maya reaction a little bit. Okay? I know it's nothing to do with uh, uh, Chinese cuisine, but uh, I, I'm still with this Maya reaction. I got to create a little color, a little flavor. I don't care what anybody tells you. It makes a big difference, my friends. Um, so we're gonna put, we got red onion, we got peppers and zucchini. Now, those are not traditional. If you go to China, uh, you're not gonna get this in there. This is more Amer an American thing, um, but, See, now we're getting some color in the chicken, my friend. You see? We're getting some beautiful color in the chicken. And that's what we want. It smells wonderful already. So this is, I know you're not going to find this in the, unless you come in the state. We have some uh, scallion, um, mostly the white part. I have a little bit of the green. Ginger, I cut it in very, very small julienne. And what I do is I cut a slice. Let me get... Uh, uh, I cut a slice of the ginger, see, very thin slices. Well, make it a nice slice, Jean-Pierre. And then what I do is I cut it, 
And I hope Jack can see it. Can, can you can you see it over there? Yeah, you okay? And I cut it in very, very thin julienne, okay? But some people, you can do it with a microplane grater also. Microplane grater will work just fine. Okay, we're getting some nice color, you see? Uh, so the microplane grater will work just fine. And then we're going to put some dried chilies, uh, red chili pepper. And those are, um, the heat, most of the heat, friends, is in the seed. You good over here, Jack, if I do this? So, um, uh, most of the heat is in the seeds, friends. So we want to remove the seeds. How do you do it? It's very simple. Take a scissors, cut them, and then look, 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 look inside the bowl. You see? You tap them. Yeah, look at that. Look at how many seeds there is. Super, super hot. Okay? So you want to remove the seeds right there. You don't want it to be too hot. And then you just cut them like this in little pieces. Yeah, some people are rehydrating them. I find that they have a nice texture if you just cook them like that. Okay? So the chicken is going to be good, my friends. Okay? This is not all finished. This is just to give us some nice color. We're not gonna take it, and we're gonna put it right here. Okay. And now, my friends, we are going to see the see, It smells amazing. It smells amazing. So we wanna put a little bit more of, of the oiler, just a little bit of oiler. And uh, we're gonna saute some um, onion, always number one. <laughs> Don't forget now. <laughs> All right, you got the onion in there. I use red onion. Now, red onion, and like a, a Spanish onion or a white onion, does not need that much caramelization. Okay, so if you use a white onion or a, 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 a uh, you definitely need those guys right there. They'll be perfectly fine to cook with other vegetables. They don't need caramelization. Bell peppers, I cut them in small pieces, because if they're big pieces, they're never going to cook. Like I say, you don't have them bell peppers, don't put them in. Don't worry about it. I, I like it when I make this dish to be a complete dish, okay? I don't want to just uh, uh, um, uh, serve it with just with chicken. I, I got to put some vegetables in there, right? Then we're going to put the ginger in a minute, and we're going to put the uh, garlic in a minute, and we're going to put the scallion in a minute. Now, I'm also going to put, because that's very traditional, Szechuan peppercorn. Now, the, it's not like a regular peppercorn, friends. Uh, if you can't find it, you're not, you're not going to find that at a grocery store, friends. You're going to find this at uh, a specialty store. You don't have it, don't worry about it. And, and, and don't think you can just replace it with peppercorn because you can't. It's got nothing to do with the regular peppercorn where it's spicy, it, it, it's, it's completely different. It's more of a lemony uh, flavor, actually. And, um, and, and see, and on the inside, there is a uh, little grain. Or, or, or berries or whatever you want to call it. You don't want that. This is bitter. It's not it's sandy. It's not not nice texture. What you want is the husk. You see right there, my friends? You want the husk of it. So we put them in right now. It's going to give them a really, really nice flavor. The husk of it is what you want. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's still going to be a nice dish, okay? Don't worry about that. We're also going to put the uh, the chili peppers in there. And that's going to be a form of rehydrating them. We're gonna put our green onion right there. Everything is cooking, I'm on high heat, I'm doing really good. And when that is cooking, friends, we're gonna make a sauce, okay? And the sauce, I was supposed to measure everything, but I'm, I don't know what happened to my measuring spoon. I think I used it, so let's guess, guess what? We're not doing it with a measuring spoon, but about a couple of tablespoons of the oyster sauce. About one and a half to two tablespoons of uh, uh, soy sauce. The uh, black vinegar, like I said, you have it, great, same amount. If you have the black vinegar, great. If you don't have it, use a, a balsamic vinegar. Shaoxing wine, I know I'm saying, not saying it right. Use whatever, you don't have the wine, don't worry about it, don't put it in. Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna say, well, if I don't have anything, I'm not putting anything in. You gotta put something in there, my friends. Okay, and then we're gonna put a little bit of toasted sesame oil. This is an amazing flavor, toasted sesame oil. They're not all the same. And we're gonna make a little bit of cornstarch slurry, then we're gonna reserve for later. You know, so cornstarch slurry, I got a good tablespoon in there. You see, friends? And also, we're gonna put a little bit of honey. Just one tablespoon of honey you see now they don't come out easy <laughs> you notice all right I think it's time for 
for us to put the flavor in there on our friends. All right, so we got a little bit of ginger. There's a little too much here. Uh, garlic, 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 garlic. A little bit of ginger. There's a little too much here, All right? And this is starting to smell marvelous, my friends. You see? Right, Jack? It smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> Fantastic, see? Peanuts. Uh, you can do dry roasted peanuts. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Red skin peanuts. <coughs> Excuse me. We are looking good here, friends. All right, now I'm going to add my chicken. You see? Now we're going to continue cooking all this for a few minutes. And then we're going to add a sauce. And here, my friends, you have a beautiful dish you can serve with rice. It's delicious. In a minute, we're going to save. We got our sauce right there. And I think we're good to go. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. It wouldn't be the first time, eh? We're looking good. Look at beautiful. Look at the color. How gorgeous the chicken is, friends. You see? You see, this is what I want. This is why I did that first. See right there, friends? Very important. And the vegetables, we want them to be firm, but not too firm, obviously, right? And we're going to put a sauce here, friends. Now, this, this is not a very saucy dish. In a sense of it, you're going to have a bunch of uh, a sauce, but look how beautiful it is. Oh, look at this. Let me tell you, friends. Now, I'm not even going to put cornstarch. I don't need it. I'm good. You see? And this dish is ready. It's ready to eat. It smells amazing. If you were here, my friends, first of all, you'd be very happy because you would eat good. <laughs> Look at this, this is perfect, you see? And then you can, um, at the end you can uh, uh, chop up some, uh, some peanuts and, and do it, but look at it, look how beautiful that is, friends. You see how gorgeous that is? Like I say, serve it with a plate of rice, whatever it is you want, whatever makes you happy, my friends. And this, gonna turn the heat up. You see, this was not complicated. All it really took was mise en place, okay? Mise en place, everything ready in advance, so it makes it easy. Look how beautiful that is. This is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous. I'm going to be in heaven. Oh. 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 No. Oh. Oh. Mmm. I love it. Who the heat? Friends. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching. Okay, ooh, it's delicious. That's a little spicy. Mmm. Oh man. Ah, the chili pepper. Holy. Mmm. Holy sh**, those chili peppers are hotter than I thought. Holy moly. Ah.